everybody, I'm Neha and today I'm going to read a fun book for you all. It's called Aesop's Fables. But before we get started with our book, I'm going to tell you all a tongue twister. First, let's try it slowly. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Now, let's try it a little bit faster. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? And don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, let's get started. The Dog and the Log Once upon a time, there was a blacksmith. He lived in a small house in a village. Now the blacksmith had a pet, a dog. He loved the dog dearly and took good care of him. The dog also loved his master. With my powerful pet on guard, I need not fear anyone. The blacksmith would think and be glad. He gave the dog good food, plenty of exercise and rest. Over the days, the dog became big and strong. His loud bark was enough to scare the children. Even the brave and mighty men of the village were afraid of the dog. I'm the strongest, the dog would think. And as the months passed, he became vain and violent. He even lost respect for his master. Many a time, he would bark and snarl at the blacksmith. The blacksmith noticed that his dog had started misbehaving, but he did not scold or punish him. Instead, he would laugh it off. Soon, the dog started troubling people intentionally. Some people complained to the blacksmith about this. Still, the blacksmith did not do anything to correct his pet dog's behavior. This gave encouragement to the dog. He thought what he was doing was right. He started having fun at the expense of others. One day, the vain dog was wandering in the street. He saw a little girl playing there. He barked loudly at her. The poor girl got scared and ran for her life. She went straight to her father, the village chief. Oh, wow! Grrr! Arf! Help! Your dog is a menace. Keep him chained or else you will get it from me. The chief was a strict man. When he saw his daughter crying miserably, he flew into a rage. He called upon the blacksmith and scolded him for giving his dog so much of freedom. The chief warned the blacksmith to keep his dog under control or he would have to answer to him. After getting a warning from the village chief, the blacksmith was frightened. You ill-mannered dog, I kept you free. But not to earn a bad name for myself, he shouted. You don't have any sense. It is better to chain you and make you sit inside the house. In saying so, he tied a chain around the dog's neck and tied him to a wooden chair. Wow, great! Wherever I go, I drag this log. Now, it so happened that the wooden chair fell and the dog was free. The dog was too arrogant to realize that he had been punished. He thought that his master had honored him by tying a chain around his neck. He came out of the house and showed off his chain to everyone. I look mightier than before. A wise dog saw the vain dog with the chain. Enough of that false pride now, said the wise dog. Being chained is no honor. 
Your master took your freedom away by putting a chain around your neck. There is nothing to be proud of. Stop making a fool of yourself. Now the dog realized his folly. He gave up his arrogant and evil ways. Once again, he became a good dog to be loved by all.